I learned something the other day, and this is an awesome trick from somebody that's been working with old crawlers their whole life. Let me put these together. You want to end up with something a little like this. I like to make mine with three links in the middle and a chain hook facing each way. And these are also 3 8 hooks and chain. Now you can buy these, but I like to make mine out of old chain that's already got compromised links. Sure, you can pull on the drawbar, but this will give you a lot more force, especially if everything's free inside of the tractor and you're having trouble getting it unstuck. You want to come up here somewhere on the track. Uh, often it works better to have it closer to the middle of the track, but this is for demonstration purposes. I'm going to hook it right here. Now you'll take your longer chain, hook it on the other side of the grouser, just like so. Bring it over here, hook it into this hook, and you'll want to end up with something a little similar to this. This will give your tractor a lot more leverage to pull on than pulling on the drawbar. You're essentially making the tractor pull under its own power on one side of the track. And that trick helped us get all of these tractors unstuck and loaded up. Now this is called a grab hook, and it has many, many other uses. For example, Maybe you're lifting something up on a set of forklift forks, which you're not supposed to do, or a hook, and you don't want it to twist and slip. Well, you can hook this right underneath where your hook is, and that'll keep it from twisting. Maybe you have a dead-ended chain and you just need another hook. Now you got it. This technique is also useful if you're replacing or moving tracks off any track machine. I hope you find this old crawler enthusiast trick helpful.